Welcome to the vlog where we finally talk about our proposal, our engagement. That's right. So I guess we'll break it down. Um, I do have some clips that we'll put in where I thought we were vlogging for just a weekend in Penticton. So now you can watch where I had no idea what was coming. Not at all. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome back. Yes, today we're in Penticton. We drove up this morning. We just got to our hotel and we're walking around the beach. Nice and, and sunny the, outside. The piers and stuff. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I think it was like 31 degrees. So it's hot. It's hot. We have a reservation at a winery at four, which is in like 45 minutes. So we're just taking some time to walk around and then we're gonna get a cab and go to the winery, but we're here just for the night for a little nice quick little getaway. Yeah, weekend getaway. So All along. yeah, let's go. Okay, we are at the winery. The like reason that we're here this weekend is because Painted Rock Winery invited us here. So we are just taking it in. It's absolutely Stunning here, like so modern. So they got us a lovely charcuterie board. We kind of dug in a bit, and then we got some rose in here that we've been drinking. Let me show you the view. We're right on Skaha Lake. It's absolutely stunning. It's so hot today. Look at this perfect spot. They just built this like covered space. We love it. Okay, so from the beginning, I guess. Yeah. I'll tell my point of view of what happened and then you can fill in what you did. So, Painted Rock Winery reached out to me to work together where I was going to go and post for them and in exchange they were going to be giving us a wine tasting and a paid night stay in Penticton, which was amazing. So we got to Penticton, we went to our hotel and went to the winery. And we got there, I was introduced to Hillary, who was Painted Rock's photographer, who was there getting content for them, which I did not question because I was there to get content, so it made sense they had someone there getting content for them as well. I had actually reached out to Painted Rock because that was a place that Elaine and I had looked at together for a potential wedding venue. I read on their website that they said that they didn't do weddings, so I was like, okay, this could be the perfect place to propose. And it's got a nice view, it's very modern, we both really liked it. So I reached out to them on Instagram saying, hey, I want to propose to my girlfriend here. Would you be able to send her like a fake sponsorship sort of thing? And they got back to me and they said that they could. So I was like, okay, it's time to start planning. So then I was trying to figure out how I could get Elena up there. And the way that I thought about that was to have the winery reach out to her and say that they'll pay for our stay as well so that we wouldn't have to pay for a hotel or Airbnb. Yeah. So that was like the, the thing that helped convince her to take the time off work. Oh, but you also hired uh, the photographer to be there. Yes, yeah, so I also hired a photographer and I planned for her to go there early. And I also have planned for my friends and Elena's friends to go there early with the photographer to set up this whole thing, yep. to find the location. And so then when I got there, I had no idea how the photographer or how everything was going to play out. I thought that the photographer would be waiting down wherever the area was that I was going to propose. But as soon as we got in there, I recognized the girl standing like at the bar and I was like, I think this is the photographer and then the what, the manager I guess came yeah. out and just like said hey how's it going like you're here for your tasting what's your name blah 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 then she was like this is our photographer so then I started putting the pieces together like, yeah okay this is the story that we're going with for now 
the photographer and the winery were absolutely amazing. Like they made everything happen yeah. and they went along with the plan so well. And I was so convinced that this photographer was there getting content for them. And I was told we were just getting a wine tasting, but they gave us a bottle of wine and a charcuterie, which I was like, wow, they're spoiling us. But Trin was paying for it all. Yep. And then while we were there, they had told us that once we were finished our wine, they would take us on a tour of the vineyard, which again, I was like, wow, spoiling us, showing us everything. And so we went on this full, like, informative tour of the vineyard, learning about all their wines. Then we stopped at this one spot where the photographer wanted to get pictures of us, like, walking through the vines. So she was like, you guys wait here, and I'm going to go find a spot that has good lighting. But she was actually finding the spot that our friends had set up for us. So we walk down the vines and it's kind of like sloped and then it flattens out at the bottom. So we're walking down and she's taking pictures of us. And then as we pass her, she's now behind us. And we're at this beautiful spot that Trayden had planned and had our friends set up where they had like candles making a whole walkway and then flower petals and then four like flower pots and that's where he proposed um, in front of the lake view it was like so perfect and he had it planned down to the detail of knowing what side i was going to be walking on for my like better side for photos so he knew to make sure that the ring was put in the flower pot on his side because, which was so smart because if you're if you had it in your bag I totally would have found it because I'm always like, not like in your stuff, but like I pack your stuff and like get stuff for you. So I totally would have found it if it wasn't done like that. I figured so. Yeah. I'd given the ring to one of my friends to bring up. So I had a lot of trust in him. Okay guys, welcome to a very special vlog. I'm going to be proposing to Elena within the next couple of months and I'm going to get the ring today. I haven't seen the ring yet. That's like one of the things that I'm nervous about is like, what if I don't like it? What if Elena doesn't like it? It's really starting to hit me that it's all coming together now and it's actually like gonna be happening and that I gotta start planning. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And now I'm going to pick up the ring. Um, today is Berkeley's wedding and Elena is with Berkeley, obviously, because she's a bridesmaid. So I thought it was the perfect time for me to just get out of the house, go pick up the ring, she'll have no idea, and it'll be perfect. We have all of it right here. Wow. I got the ring. I don't know if I want to show you guys yet. It's like, no, I'll let Elena show you. This is wild, wild. I have I have the ring. That is freaking crazy. I'm still like in a little bit of shock right now. Oh, my bank account is too. <laughs> As I was driving here, that I was afraid the diamond was a little small. It honestly looks like a lot smaller um, in person because it's literally just the diamond. I thought it was like a little small. The diamond is massive. Wow in shock, happy, nervous. I don't know where I'm gonna hide it. I hope she doesn't know where I am. I got it all, it's paid for, it's done, it's a done deal. For the longest time, I said that I wanted um, to be surprised and I wanted photos and video. So I was definitely surprised he had photos and then he even had our friends take up a camera that was then set up on a tripod to take a video. So we have a video of it as well, which is just so, special and at this point we're finished and the photographer was like okay do you want to take engagement photos and i'm like yes please and she's like okay where do you guys want to go and i was like well you know the space because she does all the photos for here and she's like no actually i've never been here before like i don't work for the winery and i was like oh and at this point i'm trying to like piece together all everything to make it make sense and i'm like so excited and in shock so we go and we take um engagement photos i guess then we went back to the like wine tasting area and everyone that was working at the winery was like so excited because they've been planning this all with Trayden. Yeah. So they were all cheering and then everyone at the winery was like cheering for us, which was so fun. And then we finished our wine and our charcuterie and 
left and we had to take everything in a cab with us so all the flowers all the candles, the petals, like everything, which was pretty funny. And then we got back to the hotel. I actually booked an Airbnb so that after I proposed, she would think we're going to the hotel and then we actually go to the Airbnb where um, our friends surprise Elena and just like celebrate with us. So when we got back to the hotel, I'm ready to take our stuff out of the truck and Trini's like, no, 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 we're gonna go for dinner so just leave your stuff and I was like, okay. So we drove to this Airbnb and then we go inside and our friends are there and they had like totally decked it out and had balloons and like the flower petals again and like music and everything and my mom had sent a gift basket up so it was like a full gift basket for us and it was just like such an amazing night with like so many surprises and of course we were like calling and facetiming everyone and just like having so much fun with our friends and then we ended up staying that night with them but Trayden had booked with my work that I was going to be actually taking Monday off. So we were staying two nights, which was so fun. So we just ordered dinner in that night. And then the next day we like hung out together, went on the jet ski, went to the lake and we went out and celebrated, went for dinner. Yeah. I feel like that's our yeah, I, proposal. Yeah, that's our basically. Our engagement. Yeah. Honestly, if I could pick one day in my life to relive, it would be that day. That's good. It was like the best day. That is our engagement story. Um, if you can tell, or if you don't follow us on Instagram, we moved out. So we're currently in our home, which will be another vlog. Uh, let us know what you want to know about that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Seeing me have no idea that this was happening. Yeah. And see us get engaged. And all the Q and A's that we did, and everyone's like, "When are you guys getting married? When's the wedding? When's the wedding?" Yeah. Now, it's, it's happening. happening. Thanks for watching. If you want to see like behind the scenes of wedding planning, let us know. But if it's something that you want to see, I'd be happy to share. And that's all for today. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.